hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to customize the fonts with DWM and simple terminal on Arch Linux. As you can see here, we're already here. But first, before we proceed any further, I'd like to thank my channel member, Miss Love. I get early access to videos such as this one right here. A little badge next to the name when they're commenting on a video and live stream, and I get a notification whenever they comment. So they get priority of response. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, why do we want to change the font? Well, why not? It's your operating system, it's your choice, why not? So, as we can see here, we have all of our stuff. We've got everything we need to do. So, let's change a font, shall we? So, to do this, we need to do um, vim config.h. As we can see here, we have everything we want. We've got all of the desktop environments that we have changed. As you can see from last video, I did 9876123455. Five, so taking the Star Wars approach, all things. And as we can see, we've got everything we want. So let's change things around. Um, we do not need to touch the D menu font because we do not have D menu installed. But what we do need to do is change the asterisk fonts bracket bracket as this is what is the actual uh, fonts for the library so what, we, what we're going to do is we're just going to change this right now to terminus because why not terminus control c right quick and then if we do start x nothing has changed why has nothing changed well the reason why nothing has changed is because we have not recompiled DWM. So to do that is just make a clean install. Now, it is important that every time you make a change to DWM's config.h or ST's config.h that you make a clean install. So if we come back here, we actually can see Things have changed just a little bit. Now we've got our fonts. We've got all. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, nine, eight, seven, six. I am still not entirely sure what that does, but there's our model number, and we have everything we want. So let's download some more fonts and actually install them in the correct place. So we're going to leave the DWM repository, as we can see, we're in the home directory. And what we're going to do is we're going to download my repository that has some of the fonts that I've collected over a few years. So to do that, it is git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash nick matthews dash one slash fonts. This has just cloned the fonts repository. As we can see here, we have all of the Apache and Ubuntu as a folder. Now, this just has all the Ubuntu fonts in the same place. If you've ever fancied using them, I'm not sure if you would like to use them or not. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Ubuntu fonts primarily, but whatever floats your boat. But in this case, we're just going to move Aldo the Apache. So what we're going to do is we're going to do copy Aldo the Apache to user share fonts. And just to make sure that worked, we are going to log in over here and then just do CD uh, user share fonts. And as we can see here, we have Adobe Source Code Pro, Aldo the Apache, Cantrell fonts, encodings, and liberation. So we now have the Aldo the Apache font. So once again, what we need to do is we need to go back to the DWM report, uh, directory. So dot, dot slash DWM, give the screen a clear. And then what we want to do is vim config.h. And as we can see here, we still have terminus. So what we'll do is just do Aldo the Apache. Uh, control C, right quit, make clean install. 
important that we do that and now do start x things have changed which is rather cool as we can see here one two three four and then yeah the, the usual and as we can see here we have dwn with our simple terminal but uh what's going on here this doesn't look like what we just changed it to because the way dwm and simple terminal work is dwm is a desktop environment st is the terminal and they don't talk they have their own config files i mean they do talk to each other but they have their own config files so what we want to do you do alt shift q to exit startx what's well, to exit the desktop environment should i say and then from there we want to go to st and then what we want to do is do vim config.h this is where we can change things so in this case what we are going to do is we're just going to change this to terminus because again why not so terminus right quit exit now again it is important that you remember to do make clean install because if you do not do this nothing will change and it is important that you do that so that x and as we can see what's going on nothing's changed because evidently we do not have terminus font installed so what we want to do is do control shift q uh, reopen so vim config.h uh, the reason why it just doesn't do anything at all is because it's just going off what fonts are available if you've selected something like for instance terminus and it's not there it will go off the last known good font in this case um liberation mono or whatever it was so in this case we just want to do aldo uh the apache and we'll just set the font size to 17 because yes why not so right quit remember to make a clean install and we do start x help if i could remember how to do this have, have i just forgot how to uh no i was just being dumb so as we can see here we actually have multiple desktop environments well uh terminals so we can just do that and then just do it from here Tapping, um, I died. and then we'll just do top here because we can so as we can see here we actually have our fonts now in this case it is looking correct as we have just made a small change to it to the size 17 font now if you were to make any sort of change remember it is important that you need to make a clean install every single time because if you don't you will not get the advantage of like i said the new font because it's still loading the old one you need to make a clean install so it recompiles it so you are as suckless like to state you are your own maintainer so it is important that you maintain it correctly anyway if you liked this video hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button they both seem to work even though you can only see one of them remember when you use linux don't panic i have been nick you have been amazing i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye